I know you do very important work. They prepared a little a anecdote for me. It was a story about a woman in North Las Vegas who had a, um, I guess, a child who uh, was in a, a, a disastrous uh, accident, and um, they used the ability of a structured settlement in order to make sure that uh, the child was taken care of over the years as far as the medical bills and the pain and injury, and without that, the money could very well have been dissipated. I did have one case, though. I made some law here. It's the only civil case I ever had. I represented a youngster who received a mumps, measles, and rubella shot. And unfortunately, as a result of that, he suffered a reaction. And the poor little fellow was uh, basically uh, uh, deaf, blind, and crippled. And uh, his mother came into uh, my office, and uh, the receptionist said, Mr. Goodman, there's a woman out here with a, a child, and they want to see you. I said, I don't, I don't do anything other than criminal work. And, she said, you might want to see this one. This is a pretty sad story. And they came to me, and we, uh, uh, I heard what they had to say. A, a lawyer was going to accept $5,000 from the manufacturer at the, in full settlement of the case. And they felt that that was probably inappropriate. And I said, well, I don't know anything about products liability, but maybe I can learn a little bit, because I felt so sorry for the woman. She was like an angel with this youngster. And uh, we were able to get uh, probably the biggest settlement maybe in the history of the state as a result of that, and we did it under a structured settlement, and uh, uh, the, the woman was able to at least take care of the child the best that she was able to do over the years, and the case is um, uh, Allison versus Merck, if anybody's interested. It's a, a very interesting case where, as I said, we established the law and strict liability in the, in the state, and uh, this youngster uh, was as able to be as comfortable as somebody could under the circumstance, and the mother as uh, secure as she could be under the circumstances. And without the structured settlement, there's no telling what kind of dissipation may have taken place, leaving both the child and the mother in a state of uh, uh, despair. Yes, thank you for that.